Hello, and my name is Mr. Macabroni, and welcome back to Without Within. Uh, last time, we didn't sell any of our art. Sad face. But, on the bright side, we didn't lose our job, and we helped a kid find his mom. That, that makes me happy, at least. So, without further ado, let us get going. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oops, I almost hit new, I hit new game for a second. Oh, that would have been bad. On my way home, I spotted a banner for an upcoming visual novel named Princess Aria. The game had long been hyped on every forum I knew. Amazing art along with a cast of famous voice actors. The writer and composer were big names too. Apparently this is a real game, I think. I tried finding it, but I didn't get a whole lot. But I think it's a real game. So if you guys figure anything out, please tell me. Yes, that was what I really needed. If I had a banner like that, no doubt people would line up to buy my calligraphy. I could already imagine how folks would react as I walked along the streets. Hey, I think that was Vinti. Wow, no way. You mean that famous calligrapher I see on all those banners? Yeah, she must be really good. Maybe we should ask for her autograph. My agent would then stop in to speak on my behalf. Please line up in an orderly fashion, everyone. How much for an autograph? Shut up and take my money. My agent nodded in response. Autographs are available 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 for a hundred dollars. Thanks. That would be a hundred dollars. Thanks. The game shop's owner said. Princess Arya cost twice what I had predicted. If I bought the game, I would have too little left for rent. I opened my wallet, hoping I would have more cash on hand than I realizes. Turned out, I had less, actually. A hundred dollars. I think the translation for this game, if this was originally in a different language, is off. That or they're bad with English, because... I assume they mean like 100 yen, because that would make sense for a game, not $100. Unless she's like buying some sort of special collector's edition. I don't know. I hung my head and the storekeeper sighed. His arced brows pressured me into a buying a game. I did ride three trains to get here. Might as well pick up something. I told the shopkeeper how much money I had, and he shook his head. The store owner pulled out a different game from under his table. He brushed away the dust on it so I could see the cover. The title read, Sunflower War, some visual novel about the battlefield. Copyright 1997, the bottom read. No wonder it was so cheap. Art by Invert Mouse. Whoever the heck that was, the front cover would fit perfectly in a kindergarten classroom. I flipped the case to see what was highlighted on the back. This game supported up to 640 by 480 resolution. Truly the pinnacle of technology. <laughs> <laughs> the shopkeeper grimaced. He must have sensed I wanted to say no. His stare made my palms stain with sweat, and I ended up buying the game. Dealing with folks like that had always been a weakness of mine. Remind me to never visit the store again. <laughs> that game sounded awesome. <laughs> with heavy strides, I returned to my apartment. Zero calligraphy sales, late for work with... Wait, calligraphy? Do you mean that... You mean those words you wrote? Is calligraphy really that big of a deal? I thought you wanted to be like a... Isn't... I thought calligraphy was like modeling or... Apparently not. You just wrote fucking words on a paper. Amazing. Late for work and with rent. Topped off by blowing cash on some game I had no interest in. What I really wanted to play was Princess Arya. Forcing myself to suffer anything else would just upset me further. Uh, I should have saved before this, did I? I don't know, probably not. Might as well play it. I did spend money on Sunflower more. Might as well give it a go. The day left me pretty drained, so this relic of a game would do a good job putting me to sleep. That's true. 
I switched on my laptop and inserted the disc, which I partly hoped would fail to load from old age. Too bad it worked just fine. No doubt a lot of people were loving Princess Arya right now. Meanwhile, here I was, enjoying this 640x480 godsend. No voice acting either. <laughs> These illustrations look like they were done by a child. I would be better off closing my eyes and imagining my own artworks. Oh, you mean words? You mean no fucking words? Just words on the screen? Huh? I can do calligraphy too. You see that? You see that? I am good at calligraphy. I can do that too. I can do that too. You see that? Calligraphy. 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 Jesus fucking Christ, I need help. <sighs> The grass reached up to our knees as I read along. I painted an image of the scene in my head. The plants rustled as we waded through. We paused once every few steps, fearing there might be snakes hiding among the bushes. Somehow, we managed to survive the evening. The sun surged from beyond the horizon, outlining the earth with an orange glow. Slowly, the blue sky emerged and vanquished the darkness that had haunted us. As light bathed the soil, I found myself in a field of sunflowers. I had imagined this place to look far more terrifying, but anxiety had merely been playing tricks on me. I drew a deep breath to savor the morning fragrance. In the distance, birds chirped as if applauding our survival. I could see it, not only that, but touch, hear, and smell too, an experience crafted by my imagination. The image rivaled the strokes of any artist, and it belonged to me alone. This fulfillment inspired me to take things further. The blasts of gunfire deafened us as we dove behind the wall. A bullet whizzed past the tip of my helmet. Sam had passed this helmet on to me with her dying breath. I would carry on her legacy. You put a fucking pan on your head. <laughs> the desert heat pinched sweat out from my every pore. I desperately wanted to empty this water bottle down my throat, but with no help in sight, I must convert. I must conserve every drop. <sighs> Joe's eyes closed, this time never to reopen. Despite our promise to survive together, only I managed to live. How I wished I could take her place. I finished reading Sunflower War right as the clock struck 3 a.m. How so many people had missed this classic left me dumbfounded. Actually, that would be a lie, as to had every intention, as I too had every intention of tossing this game aside. I kept demanding excitement without offering an ounce of passion in return. If I played my part, I might be able to discover so much more. As Sunflower War's credits rolled, I realized just how small the development group was. The team probably knew they stood no chance against the bigger studios, yet they still did their best with dated technologies to deliver a ver vision they believed in. The happiness they felt when working on the project poured out of every line in this game. I could gaze right into their hearts. Heart, the thing I had long neglected. What, Mommy! Daddy! Vinti, what is it, darling? Look, look, it's my calligraphy. <laughs> calligraphy. Honey, it's calligraphy. But that's great. I think you have a lot of talent. <laughs> this is so much fun. I'm going to become a calligrapher. You do that, Vinti. You do that. I had forgotten the last time I found joy in calligraphy. Every stroke these days felt like a grocery chore. All I obsessed over was how much, or rather how little, people paid attention to my efforts. My works no longer possessed heart, and I failed to notice it. Time to do something about that. 
I could hardly wait to start. After all, I chose this path because I loved it. That's that's awesome. I'm loving this so far. This is awesome. The next day, I ventured outside with a new set of calligraphies. Though I had no sales thus far, I still found myself beaming. That might explain why some people smiled back. Perhaps it was the weather, but I swore everyone felt warmer today. Mummy, mummy, there she is, the ice cream lady. A boy dragged his mother in my direction. It was that kid I helped out yesterday. The mother and I exchanged nods. Honey, the lady has a name. It's rude to call her the ice cream lady. What's her name then? Oh my, it's... Well, sorry, what is it? it it's Vinty. The mother slapped her boy in the back. See, her name is Miss Vinty. Mummy, can we buy some of those doodles from the ice cream lady? Doodle must be another word for top-of-the-line calligraphy. No other explanation could restrain me from shaking the brain out of this boy. My name was nowhere inside that little brain anyway. <laughs> the mother checked her wallet and her face scrunched up the way mine often did. All good, madam. I knew how it felt to be living on the edge, the edge of being homeless. Please, 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 the boy nagged on. This showed why I would never have kids. The mother relented at last and bought one of my works. Guess the boy wanted to repay my kindness. I gave his hair a ruffle as thanks. After flashing his missing tooth with a grin, he pulled his mother back into the crowd. Well, at least I scored better marks than yesterday. Another man strolled toward me. Wow, I was on a roll now. With heart on my side, my fame and fortune had arrived. Clean my shoes, peasants. Hey, it's you again, the man said. Oh, the troll from yesterday. I call my thoughts to avoid causing a scene. Maybe the guy came to apologize. Even a creep like him must know how rude he had been. Yes, my aura had been cleansed him of all evil thoughts. Go on, empty your wallet at my greatness. Wow, these new scribbles are even worse than the ones you bought, brought last time. <sighs> Venti, don't. Venti. Oh shit, somehow I turned into an internet celebrity. Top comment. Damn, snap. <laughs> Wow, she went full crazy. <laughs> LOL. Triangle mouth at 007 Illuminati. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. She be like, why you no buy, huh? More like, this might be a good time to look for that second job. Thank you for playing. Oh, God, no, thank you. That was awesome. I'm going to do more of this. Uh, I'm going to end up doing the other things. I want to see what else other things happen. I'm interested. But that was the first way this story unfolded. That was Without Within. And I, without a doubt, enjoyed it. And I hope that you guys did, too. <sighs> well, I hope you really enjoyed this, because I did. What is in the options? Uh, skip, read, all, B, text, audio, ah, uh, stuff. Up, uh, yep, there are other languages. I was right. There are some faulty translations in it, but that never stopped, that didn't stop me from enjoying it. It wasn't too bad. Let's check out the credits. Created by oh it, it invert mouse oh that's the developer did this that's the people in the story that did um sunflower war or whatever illustrations by Carla Featherstone Carousel um, and you did pretty good music by Effa Tazen testing flutters and Rook thank you guys thank you for making this awesome game I really enjoyed it. Well, it's about time to be heading off. Um, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play of Without Within. Although it was short, it was 
It was really neat. I really enjoyed this. It was funny. It it really just shows how much effort can get you. Like you can still be happy without anything else. As long as you try your best, you'll have a nice life. <sighs> I can't stop grinning. I love this. Well, I'll see you guys next time on whatever journey we may go through next. Like, subscribe, hope you enjoyed this, and stay frosty, icicles. Adios.